Hey everyone, thanks for checking in with us again this week. We've got a few great reports from the staff. But before I turn it over to them, I want you to go over to our Facebook page and go to your follow us settings and change it from either default to see first. What's happened is that a lot of the Facebook algorithms aren't allowing a lot of your posts to show up in your news feeds. So this is one option for you guys to be able to change your settings so that you can see all of our great content in your news feed and not have to worry about missing something or missing one of our great giveaways. So with that, I want to thank you for doing that and send it over to the reports. Folks, Will Pappenfoos here. And Andrew Kraft. Today, we're out Bemidji, Minnesota, and we got a lot of snow this a last snow, week. A lot of snow. We got about probably 24 inches now, and trying to get around the lakes, you know, snowmobile is probably going to be your best option. A lot of the lakes you're not going to be able to get a truck on unless you have a snow plow or anything. But, you know, if you have good tires, usually you can bore right through. But, Andrew, do you want to tell them how we did tonight fishing? Yeah, you know, we got a late start out here tonight, but we did catch some really nice bluegills. Actually, right away, didn't really get that, you know, light above the treetop bite like we were talking about. But a couple quality gills and just kind of sitting in a, a saddle here with some deeper water off each side in about, what, 15, 16 feet or so. Mm -hmm. So... It was a fun bite. Uh, we'll be checking back in as we go along. Um, check out some uh, other reports from the other staff. Hey guys, Ryan Whelan, Minocqua area ice fishing report. First off, ice conditions. The ice conditions are great. We have over 30 inches of ice putting this extension on the Eskimos basically on the lake run today. Uh, but travel's really tough. In the last week, we got you know close to 12 to 14 inches of snow depending on where you are. And then really high winds this past weekend. So some of the drifts we faced today were you know honestly three feet deep. It was you know really really tough. If you're thinking about truck and ATV travel, definitely walking is really tough right now. Earlier in the week, we are going to have some warm weather. Hopefully that's going to knock some of that snowpack down. So again, ice can conditions are wonderful travel conditions not so much how uh, we need some of that snow to go away as the weather warms up here as far as the bites go you know one more weekend of game fishing season if you want to get out and do that and then it's panfish from you know here on out but that's fine panfish bites been really good crappies they're still in the deep basins in the middle of the day so they kind of drift up in the mornings first couple hours of light last couple hours of light and then into dark uh, they are sliding up into some of those bays you know like they do light ice uh, those weed edges if you have weed edges and you know 10 to 14 foot of water you can catch them there at that time otherwise middle of the day you can still get out and catch them in the basin uh, suspended we've seen them anywhere from 10 to 12 feet off the bottom on most lakes bluegill bites also been really really good for us uh, today we're catching them in you know wood so brush piles cribs in you know 12 foot of water roughly uh, and then also on the weed edges we found some weed edges today green weeds in 8 to 12 foot and they were you know stacked up there as well so bluegill and crappie bites really good uh, still a ton of ice left so we have a long season left here in the north woods we just need some of that snow to go away uh, tight lines and stay tuned for more reports as the season rolls on hey everyone Evan Palmer here I was recently able to get out and target some panfish in west central Minnesota. Going in the trip I knew it wouldn't be the best conditions. It was snowing, blowing out there, which didn't really want to fish outside a whole lot. So I was able to go punch a few holes quick, find the fish fairly easy, and then set up the shack. The spot that I targeted was just some mid-lake structure, kind of a little point that was from 12 foot to 15 foot drop, um, fishing a little in the inside turn. There were some nice weeds there which held the fish. I was able to catch some sunfish for about two hours and then it seemed like they kind of scattered. I don't know if they just moved and I couldn't find them again or if the, if the front that was coming in in the snow had something to do with it. But after I caught them for a while I decided to pack up and head over to the permanent shack which I'm in now which was on the other side of the lake. So after I got there I set up for more of an evening bite in that area. But that's also in 16 to 17 feet with some good weeds down there. That, that seemed to be the key for this lake to find those panfish. But I was able to get a few sunfish and also a couple crappies after dark. Nothing too spectacular, but that's fishing. Anyway, the lake travel is going to be tougher now. Uh, we recently got quite a bit of snow, so I wouldn't recommend truck travel. But if you do, four-wheel drive, bring a buddy with a tow rope, shovel, that type of thing. But the four-wheeler with chains and a snowmobile is going to be your, your best option for getting out there. Um, and plenty of ice, 30 plus inches, almost everywhere. But just remember, it's not always safe, so make sure you're checking. Good luck fishing. Hey guys, Tracy Krona with Fish Addictions tuning in here this week from the Chisago Chain of Lakes. Decided to come out and take advantage of this gorgeous weather we have. It's in the mid-30s. We just came off of a weekend here there where we got about a foot of snow in this area so there's a lot of snow out here on the ice it's very wet heavy snow so if you're coming out into the area here 
Just make sure that you stay on those plowed roads and if you decide to venture off, just be extra cautious. Check the ice depths. Make sure that conditions are good before you go out too far. And always let somebody know that you're going out. So I'm just adjacent to a couple islands here and I'm set up on a 13 foot contour, kind of a flat area out here chasing some panfish hoping to see if I can get on a nice bite here with some bluegills and it looks like I actually just caught one here um, they're kind of stacked down here you know nice nice little guys like this kind of come out here and catch these guys all day long so venture out enjoy yourselves and have some fun and enjoy this time of year out on the ice it's some of the best fishing that we have and this weather is just phenomenal Thanks for tuning in. Check back next week for more reports. For more information on Fish Addictions TV, check them out on all their social media.